Patrick Dempsey, Jean-Jacques Hannon, a very warm welcome to URAN News. Thank you. Very pleased to be here. Patrick, it's your first time here. What's your impression so far about the Laguna Film Festival? I like the architecture of what's going on here too. There's a sense of where it's come from and its roots, but also it's contemporary too. What's beautiful about it is the rich history here in Egypt, right? You look, you look through um, when they first started coming here, uh, right when the, they invented the, uh, the camera, they, they, came, they came here and they were taking and they were showing and they were starting the, 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 the history of cinema all the way up to contemporary day. And I, I think that's the beautiful thing. And also um, the restoration of the old films is another thing. So for me, that's really special to be a part of that. And it doesn't feel like it's two years old. It feels like it has the history of uh, cinema here in Egypt. Uh, so yes, it's two years old, but yet you feel the deep history. Jean-Jacques, what have been your key takeaway from the festival? Well, listen, you know, I have been to several festivals in the Middle East. Um, I am uh, sad to know that a lot of festivals disappeared, but I'm very happy to see that here there is a real desire to make a great festival where we can connect the two worlds. But uh, it's true that uh, the cinema from this part of the world is not uh, distributed the way it should be in Europe. It's even worse in the States. And I have great personal interest for this part of the world. What was remarkable to me is how many films are here at the festival and where, what countries are represented, which is really quite something. Let's talk about your latest TV series, The Truth About the Harry Kubert Affair. Patrick, what are the challenges that you faced playing someone mysterious, not revealing the truth straight away? Uh, Harry Kubert is a when we start the story, he's a, a, a well-known writer. Uh, sort of like a Salinger, I would say. Wouldn't you? Yeah, one type of the great writer of, of the world. Literature in America. And he's a recluse, uh, but he's also a professor. Um, and for me, it was a great opportunity just to... The story takes place from the 70s up to 2008. And as an actor to play that, I've never really done anything with... Uh, so much makeup before, um, which was quite challenging to be patient for five or six hours to get the makeup on. But uh, it was fun to be able to do that, to, to lose yourself uh, in that character. And um, it was different than the characters I've played in the past, a little bit more complex, a little darker, uh, which I liked. And of course, to, to get to work with Jean-Jacques uh, is a dream come true. And as you can see, just listening to him, him is always uh, an education. Jean-Jacques, how different is your experience in directing TV series from directing movies? You know, frankly, I shot it. I, di I didn't think I was making television. I shot a 10 hours long movie. The only difference is because I wanted to get the um, intensity of the characters. Therefore, I used a technique that I've been using years ago when I was doing commercials and I realized the best commercial I was doing was not the five days I was uh, using big cranes uh, but when I was putting a long lens, you know, a tele lens and be on the face of my actor and we we'll only have 10 minutes before it's getting dark and this is where the magic was and therefore I reinitiated that for this uh, 10 hours movie. And we, fortunately, Patrick is a very instinctive actor. He doesn't like and doesn't need any long explanation. So it's what, what was wonderful is to set up the cameras and shoot the rehearsal and very often print that one. And that was it. Take one. Don, I love that. <laughs> I loved working that quickly. It meant you had to be prepared. You had to have your homework done. Um, but also visually, it didn't feel like we were doing a television no, show. No, no. It felt like we were doing a proper a film. A, yeah. A movie. I've seen the world changing, and I like adapting to the world that is changing. And for years, I was looking for something that would allow me to do television. Because I think television today uh, gives you more freedom. Mm. Uh, f cinema is unfortunately moving in two different directions, opposite directions. Uh, cinema for festival and a cinema for kids 
uh, with a lot of explosions and car crashes, uh, and not, not much in the middle. Jean-Jacques Yunon, Cinema for Humanity is the slogan of the festival. Do you consider directing a movie using regional talent to portray some of the MENA region issues, say for example the immigration? Of course cinema is a way to make bridges between civilization and it's so important to understand each other. Therefore it's very important for a public in the US or France to know more about life here, to also realize that we're all human beings, you know, with the same feelings, uh, the same necessities. And uh, I definitely feel that television and cinema can be a great bridge. Now, there is a downside. It's, you know, to be sensational. And today we see that with internet, fake news are more interesting than true news. Therefore, uh, dramas, uh, killings are more interesting than peaceful life and honest people. Therefore, um, hopefully, we are not in the news business, we are in fiction. And I think that if we understand that everywhere in the world, people have the same problems and the same emotion, it will be a great way to accept the others. Patrick, in your opinion, what is the biggest misconception that Hollywood has about the Middle East? For me, coming here is an important thing because I want to work here. I want a collaboration with filmmakers from Egypt, uh, from the Middle East, and to be able to bring my visibility to tell a story. But I think that's the question I'm here to kind of answer and to understand and to what is the truth? What can I see from my own eye? And I think that only happens if you travel. But until you get into a, a country, into a culture, and really live and immerse yourself, you don't know. And I think that's the problem in our world. We need to be open. We need compassion and empathy and understanding. And, um, and whatever that will be, hopefully can be reflected in a story that we tell in the future. The technology that we have today, anyone can be a filmmaker. So if you have a desire to tell a story or if you have a point of view that is strong, you can do that, you can distribute that. And when it's powerful enough, it will be captured and people will, will come to you. So I encourage people to make films, to do it themselves. They have the technology, tell their own stories. And, and I think that can be transformative. It's a very profound uh, subject that is changing our business yes. um, and Hollywood is changing, America is changing, the world is changing. Patrick Dempsey, Jean-Jacques Hano, thank you so much for your time. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Et à bientôt. <laughs>